Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite butthurt YouTuber, Gardner, the Linux Gamer. Uh, I'm here today with another video uh, about Linux things, because that's what we talk about here on the channel, is Linux things. So what I'm talking about today is, uh, uh, a couple days ago, I ended up getting uh, inundated with people sending me a link to Adobe's uh, Premiere Pro forum. And uh, there were a couple different threads on their forum talking about uh, adding Linux support. And one of those posts actually had about 4,000 votes and then it disappeared. And there were a lot of people saying that Adobe had censored um, a topic asking for Linux support. And they, you know, people were tweeting at me and they were tweeting at a couple other people in the, in the Linux world. And, you know, I wasn't going to make a video about this because, well, I don't care that much about Adobe. I, then I decided that, no, I probably should talk about this because, well, we actually got a response from Adobe. Uh, this is from Patrick Palmer, the principal product manager at Adobe. Uh, and he says, uh, hello, everyone. If you're wondering why this post went offline for a couple hours, it's because of this quick surge in votes. It triggered a spam filter, and it took me a little while to figure out how to undo this all without losing the comments. Since several people posted in the meantime about Adobe not being interested in your feedback, let me assure you that this is about as far from the reality as it gets. We truly appreciate your candid feedback. That said, a word of caution. While this item is now at the top due to a person with a good following on Twitter creating awareness, it doesn't mean it immediately becomes our top priority. And yet another word of caution in an attempt to set expectations correctly, we're gonna use this request as another trigger to redo market analysis for the needs to port to Linux. It's been true for many years that the vast majority of our user base wouldn't consider it as an alternative to currently supported operating systems. Unless this changed significantly, keeping the balance between dealing with other requests versus adding another platform might not make it viable to add support for Linux. As I've worked for a company doing Windows, Mac OS, and Linux prior to joining Adobe, I'll add a bit of color to this request. Doing Linux isn't really about adding one OS, it's at least several, if not many. Putting software that's demanding on CPU, GPU, and then some onto Linux systems means developing and testing against several of the major flavors if you expect great results. In a nutshell, this isn't a simple thing to do, but we're gonna take another hard look as to what's the demand, as I already mentioned above. That's a weird sentence. Stay tuned and thanks again for coming to the forum to voice your ideas. So what do I think about this? Well, there's a couple things. First of all, if you target Ubuntu, which is the largest and most widely used and well-supported Linux distros out there, then uh, anyone who's not using Ubuntu is probably smart enough to figure out how to get your app running without your help, honestly. There are people who are going to be able to repackage your Debian uh, installer and be able to get it working on Arch or Fedora or whatever they want because Linux users are just that kind of person. Um, I would not be worried uh, at all about only supporting Ubuntu and only providing to support, uh, support to Ubuntu users. Because honestly, if you're an Arch user, you probably don't need to have Adobe offering you support. But let's talk about some of the other things that he said. Now, I think it is fair to, to, to mention that just because this is the number one thread on their, uh, on their user voice page uh, doesn't mean that it's actually going to jump to the top of their priority list. Um, and I think it is cool, you know, if this actually happens, that they're going to uh, redo market analysis, <laughs> whatever that means. Uh, market analysis is probably going to uh, determine that their current user base uh, doesn't even know what Linux is. Okay. Fair enough. But here's the thing. There are a lot of uh, professionals who use uh, Adobe products all the time who really want to get away from Windows and they don't want to use a Mac. So I think the way that these questions are worded, if they are going to do like focus testing or whatever, I think the way that they ask the question is going to be really important. Um, do you know what Linux is? You know, would you consider switching to Linux as an alternative to Windows? All these questions, you know, you got to ask them the right way. If you're going to say, uh, 
are you sick and tired of Windows? People are going to say, yes, I hate Windows. Everybody's going to say, I can't, I can't. There isn't a person that I can imagine who says, no, I love everything about Windows. Windows is great. I love the forced updates. I love the way Microsoft is locking everything down. No, people don't like Windows. They want to get away from it. So I'll talk right to anyone from Adobe who's watching this. Supporting Linux today is an investment in your future and relevancy as uh, the, the de facto creative software. Because honestly, Windows is dying. Nobody wants to use it. Everybody's looking for an alternative. And the fact is, if you're looking for uh, the next thing in the computing world, where there's actually going to be a future for, uh, for desktop computers, Linux really is the only option that you have. I would highly recommend that you guys figure out some way to support Linux tomorrow. <laughs> I really, because it really is an investment in the future of your company. But the title of this video is why we need Adobe. And uh, so you might be wondering why it is we need it. Now, personally, if Adobe made their products available on Linux tomorrow, I might download it, pay like for a single month and try it out and compare it to what we have. But really what I believe in is bigger than Adobe. It's bigger than, you know, convenience. What I believe in is free software. So I'm not really the kind of person that they're looking to sell their software to. But I can tell you this, we need Adobe's software on Linux for one simple reason. It's because Without it, we aren't a viable alternative to Windows or Mac OS. Without it, people who rely on that software and who are inculcated in their uh, workflow, in the, in the Adobe way of being creative and expression, expressing yourself and getting work done, they have no choice but to stick with the proprietary platforms that they're on. If you, know, if you ask me, tomorrow uh, to to switch up my entire workflow to to deliver Linux gamer videos to you at the same quality you've come to expect but doing it in open shot I wouldn't be able to do it but seriously it would take me a, a couple months to maybe even a year to figure out how to use open shot or or you know any of the other open source editors that there are that are out there you know blender Blender is a great example. If you know how to use Blender's video editor, uh, good luck trying to figure out how to use Caden Live. And if you know how to use Caden Live, good luck trying to figure out how to use anything else. Just because you're an expert in one nonlinear editor doesn't mean you know how to use them all. Caden Live is different from Adobe Premiere, which is different from Sony Vegas, which is different from iMovie. They're all very different. They're all incredibly complicated pieces of software because they do a lot and, and really, it takes a long time to learn how to edit and do it well. The same goes with GIMP. GIMP is different from Krita, which is different from Photoshop. They're all incredibly diverse, and they all have different features. So to ask someone who uses Adobe every day to, to make a living to switch to Linux without Adobe support, well, that's just not something that they can do. And if you really want to see Linux grow as a, as a commonplace desktop operating system, then you should really head over to this website and uh, vote that you would like to see Adobe's products on Linux. Not because you want to use them, but because it really is one of the last major hurdles for people to switch from Windows to Linux. So yeah, that's why I believe that it's really important to have Adobe's products on Linux. But I want to know what you think. I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of people who disagree with me and who say it's proprietary software and it's got a terrible license and, and, and a terrible business model and nobody in their right mind should want to have Adobe products on Linux. But that's not how you win hearts and minds, my friends. It's fine for us to disagree, honestly. We can disagree. And I respect you for disagreeing and I see your point of view. So let me know down in the comments if you disagree with me or if you agree with me. I want to hear what you have to say. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody in the comments letting me know what they think. I appreciate everybody listening to the podcast over on uh, offtopical.net. And you can sign up for a giveaway for this uh, MSI 
Radeon RX 580. Uh, thanks to George Castro for that. Again, uh, he's awesome. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can hit that subscribe button. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.